Here's my five minutes or less review of Sex, Murder, and a Double Latte by Kira Davis. When a mystery writer cries bloody murder, everyone blames her overactive imagination. Thriller scribe Sovi Katz is as hard-boiled as a woman who drinks grande caramel brownie frappuccinos can be. So Sophie knows it's not paranoia or post-divorce living alone again jitters when she becomes convinced that a crazed reader is sneaking into her apartment to reenact scenes from her books. The police, however, can't tell a good plot from an unmarked grave. When a filmmaker friend is brutally murdered in the manner of a death scene in one of his movies, Sophie becomes convinced that a copycat killer is on the loose and that she's the next target. If she doesn't solve the mystery, her own bestseller will spell out her doom, cursing her grisly imagination. Why, oh why did she have to pick the ax? Sophie engages in some real life gumshoe tactics. The man who swoops in to save her in dark alleys is mysterious new love interest, Anatoly Darinsky. Of course, if this were fiction, Anatoly would be her prime suspect. Tropes included in this one are not a suicide, the main character is a suspect, criminal consultant, nosy reporter, although in this case she's not a reporter, she's an author, serial killer, and celebrity deaths. Story level on this one is just one more chapter. Like I said, I could not put this down. I am definitely looking forward to reading the other books in this series. Dialogue level, I have set at HBO drama, which is my highest level for murder mysteries, but I have to tell you, it's not so much a drama as it is a comedy. It is absolutely hilarious. Kira Davis writes fantastic dialogue. Side characters in this one, trust with my life. She has the best besties, and they all have their own unique personalities and voices. Setting level for this is Weekend Getaway. It's set in San Francisco, which is a beautiful city, and they did highlight some of the places in San Francisco, but uh, like most murder mysteries, it, you know, the setting wasn't like a huge part of the story. Gasp level for this one is set at four. There were definitely some surprises in this one, and I did not guess the murderer. My final verdict on sex, murder, and double lattes is a five. I loved this book and I highly recommend it. If you liked this book review in five minutes or less, give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel so you get more book reviews like this one. I'm author Nancy Basile and I write cozy mysteries and you can find out more about those in the description below. What's your favorite trope in a murder mystery? Tell me in the comments. I absolutely loved Sex, Murder, and a Double Latte. I just have to tell you, I couldn't put it down. It's hilarious.